Hello to all. The sermon where I'm about to read to you is taken from www.joyofsatan.org, which is written by High Priestess Maxine. Note the above, the closest fall to the wave of the picture. 1. The god is directing his sexual energy into his third eye. 2. His feathered headdress indicates the lightness of feeling that comes with this energy working. 3. The other god is holding a cone-shaped object. This, I believe, indicates concentration of energy, as the base is white and the apex tapers to a point. The concentrate energy is directed into the third eye. 4. Beneath the god with the feathered Headdress penis is a loop-like object, indicating the circulation of sexual energy. 5. Above and front of the god holding the cone is an ang. Before the ang is another cone, indicating the concentration of, of the life-giving sexual energy in the ang. 6. The god holding the cone is wearing a different headdress than the god who is directing his energy. It is apparent the god with the cone is instructing him. He has not yet reached the higher level of the god holding the cone. This has... This can be seen in the headdress, which is double feather, indicating he has reached the stage where he feels the levitivity. The headdress on the other god has a serpent cobra protruding from the front where the third eye is, indicating he has achieved the session of the serpentine energy of Kundalini. 7. Above the god with the feather headdress, the, there are images of the serpent, the cone of concentration, and the ang. 8. On the opposite side is a, is a cartouche, depicting a scar with a ball above it. Directly beneath the cartouche appears to be re re radiating energy. The lines. Beneath th this are the feathers of lightness. Directly beneath another cartouche containing an eye shape, which I believe represents the third eye again. The loose symbol. This indicates this god uh, standing opposite the god with the feathers has achieved mastery and immortality. Look at the above carvings as opposed to the god with the feathered headdress. There are two feathers, indicating he has already accomplished this stage. He has moved on to bring up his energy and reach transformation and rebirth, indicating by the, the scrap of immortality. 9. The god on the rear wall is at, low, is at a lower stage, stage, indicating by the serpent and the ang be, being at a much lower level. The ball beneath the, his penis indicates the building of the ball of energy through orgasm up in the 8th and ninth chakras of the 4th dimension. 10. The god on the farthest wall wall in front has a loop-shaped object, directly beneath his penis indicating again the circulation of sexual energy, the way to immortality. Eleven, all three depictions are, are, sorry, eleven, all three depictions are at different levels of achieving the goal of immortality. The gods left us these carvings in stones for in stone for those of us who are light enlightened enough to read and understand them, as they cannot be altered. Their instructions and the hieroglyphs are deeply religious. Those, those of us who understand are to teach and and enlighten the rest. High Priestess Maxine. Towards the middle is Amon. It is apparent he has reached the level of transformation. I believe the images of the animal heads represent this very transformation. Not the ball of energy above his head, eighth chakra, with, with the serpent, symbolic of Kundalini, protruding from the front. A goddess, I believe, is his wife, sits behind him, palms facing him with her hand chakras direct energy into the rear of his sixth chakra. She is demonstrating a lower level of achieving the goal of spiritual transformation. A depiction of a bird preach, uh, perch sits above her head, indicating she has not yet reached the levity, levity stage. Amon is holding the ang, indicating he is circulating the energy she is giving him. Note on the overhanging wall above, the serpents along with the feathers the goddess in the middle, Nef Nephis, holds two circles uh, which I believe contain the serpentine energy.
Note the hand placements of thought. Many Egyptian paintings and images have this hand placement, exposing the palm chakras. Thank you for listening and hail Satan.